Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Diglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Firewatch. When we last left off, we were at Jonesy Lake, about to open a supply cache. And uh, we had gotten knocked out after we found a clipboard with um, some of our conversations with Delilah transcribed. And we also found a walkie-talkie that we don't know who it belongs to, but we got knocked out and both of those things got taken away from us again. So now we're hiking towards Wapiti Meadow, hoping to find some clues as to what going what is going on. But as I said, first we have this supply cache that we can take a look at. So we're back to the old, hold on. The same code as everywhere else. All right. So, got a map, and we can copy down the information from the map, which is always useful. Map updated. No fireworks. Seems like a good idea in the woods, but, you know, actually, you know, personally, I wouldn't trust people with fireworks even outside the woods, but that's just me. So here we have a note. Let's see. The 29th of August, 86, Ron. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Mm hmm. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is... Italian? No, Profesionales is not Italian. Professionisti is um, Italian for professionals, if they were going for the noun, which I'm not sure they might be going for an adjective. No, I'm not sure if Profesionales is uh, anything in Spanish, because I don't really speak Spanish, so... But one thing I can tell you for sure is that it's not Italian. Hmm. Oh, check that out. So anyway, let's hold on to this. And here we got an old sweater. From the University of uh, Eastern Colorado, which reminds me, I looked it up. That hat we have with, um, with the guy and the horse on it, that is the mascot of the University of Wyoming. It is... Um, the University of Wyoming Cowboys. And I think the guy on the horse is Pistol Pete. While they also have a mascot that is um, Cowboy Joe, which is the horse. If I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, I apologize to, of course, any alumni of the University of Wyoming. Um, I'm... <laughs> I mostly know about the Sun Devils, don't know much about the University of Wyoming. Anyway, um, the fourth estate. <laughs> Here we go. Richard Sturgeon. The fourth estate. Red Panda Crime. Neil back through... The A trip to California would do him good. He'd soak up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. Uh, blah, blah, an emergency. 
Landing up. Well, basically, it's another crime novel. Which, uh, well, we examined. We cannot keep, so we drop. Back into the supply crash. We've got... Manry's gotten better at putting things back into the caches. Anyway, I think uh, we've gotten all we can out of this cache, so let's close it back up because we've wasted enough time here and we want to get to the bottom of the mis the mystery of Wapiti Meadow. Let's take a look at our map. So yeah, there is the path that leads up to Wapiti Meadow and another path that connects back to Thunder Canyon and takes us home. And I think that is all the new information we have. So, well, let's go exploring. Oh, here is a point where we have to propel down. I think we're heading the right direction because this way would be, yep, this is the path back to Thunder Canyon, which is down there. Yep, so we're heading back and we're propelling down. Hold on, <laughs> I'm getting my keys mixed up, put everything away. And let's climb. Rope hook. Let's attach rope. And get down. Okay. Well, there's only one way to go. Can't jump across here. Whoa, hold on. Second. Damaged tree. Whoa. Can we call it in? Apparently we can't. Are these the oh here we go. Chop down. Oh we can chop it down. Or better yet, we can't chop it down, but if we did chop it down, maybe we'll have to do it later. We could get across. But since we can't do it right now, I presume it's something we can do at some other time. a fence. There is a fence again. No, come on! I want to get to the fence! Let me through. That was an easier way to do it. So we're back to the same old problem. We're fenced out. Hmm. Well, let's talk to Delilah. All right, I'm here. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. It would we'll be. see about that. It would be very exciting, actually. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? 
Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Actually, this uh, it doesn't seem all that high, hard to climb. You could just, you know, get on this rock and get right around it. But I... Th Whoa. Oh. We can pick up a loose stone. And we can look at it. Look. It's a stone. It's all stony. Or do I say it is all stoned? No, that was that was not good. I'm sorry. Forget I said that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. But I can use the stone on the gate. He didn't even he didn't even check if uh, the combination was one, two, three, four. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Angry at the gate! Let me through! No, that is useless. So, let's see. Ru Ruby River, was it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Mule Point. Where am I going? Look for controlled burn south of Ruby River. Which one is Ruby River, though? Is this Ruby River over, like, north of Jonesy Lake? Or is the one going down Thunder Canyon? I presume it's not. Hmm, maybe we have to cut the tree down now. And, uh, we can get across that little gap. Yep. There's more fence over here, and it's all fancy. It's all fancy. Get it? Uh... We could probably climb these rocks and get over the... F First of all, the fence doesn't even seem that high. You could climb on top of this rock and just hop over it. It's It doesn't even have barbed wire or anything on top, so... You know, it's just a fence. No, we still can't chop it down. Do we need... That, I'm not even sure if that's the way we're supposed to go, because it doesn't say Ruby, Ruby River anywhere on that damn map. Give me another pointy stone. Whoop. No, that certainly didn't work. Do we have like an invent? Uh, note from Ron. Note from Ron. Note from Dave. No. Hmm. Let me check if we have an inventory. No, I don't believe we do. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game, so I don't remember everything. Which? Look for controlled. Burn south of Ruby River. Now, please tell me... Oh, here's Ruby River! 
scout camp. All right, I missed that. So we have to get... Wow. We have to pretty much go all the way back to Two Forks Lookout to then head south. Well, uh, it looks like we're going to be a while. It's... No, it's probably best if we head down back to the campground. All right. No, hold on, I'm confused which direction here. I am unconfused again. So, let's climb back up here. Come on, Henry, consider it your workout. This might be the wrong direction, kind of, but, uh, well, both paths lead back to the, to the spot, actually, where we got conked last time and got knocked out. And here we are back to the campground and now we have to look for the path that takes us to that what was it the medicine wheel yep oh no we're still way off oh we'd actually have to get back up cripple gulch question is can we do that I think so because that's the way we came down so we probably changed that rope and we have some music rope hook no this is where we go down where we went down to get to the girls campground this is cripple gulch hey i called around things seem normal with everyone else Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, wh what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. How you would do that yeah well you sound worried no i'm not okay let's not spin out of control just keep hiking whatever you say boss you know the fact that she doesn't know how she would do that intercept somebody else's frequency doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't know first of all if you wanted to do that probably wouldn't be too hard to figure out how to do it but, uh, hold on, I'm having major frame rate issues. But, um, again, the fact that you don't know how to do something, um, doesn't mean that somebody else doesn't know how to do it. You know, <sighs> I don't know how to speak Chinese. Nope. Still, plenty of people around the world speak Chinese. <sighs> anyway, which way are we heading now? We have to get nearly all the way back home yeah but keep an eye out for a path heading south i 
know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, so have we been to the medicine wheel yet? Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I'm having some frame rate issues and some stutters. Um, I don't know if it's gonna come through in the video. I hope it won't. Or at least it won't be too bad, but... If it does, I apologize. I wonder if the music has anything to do with it. There's a bird? Hey, bird! Um... Yeah. Well... I hope it's not too distracting. It's kind of annoying me, though. So... There's a path that leads back to the main path, back to Two Forks. And we have to go straight east. There's a path that leads south here, though. That's strange. This isn't on the map. Some dead trees. where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Literally. Ugh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh, come on. It was a good pun. Oh, okay. So we found a new path. I was expecting to go, well, I can't really show you because there's no cursor, but I thought I was going to go down that light green path over here. But hey, this works. So we just follow the Ruby River. Oh, and there's cash. 105, is it? I can see it. Oh, come on. And we're sloshing through the water. Because who cares if our shoes get wet? 308, not 108. So let's see what it wants for us. Just one stray match. Protect the forest. So, okay, now we got more map information. And we have three blind rats. And some 
rusty cans. Three Blind Rats, Richard Sturgeon. With the cover ripped off. Uh, something about if no, you know. I don't think there's really much point to reading those. And especially that it's not very readable. It might be the um, the resolution I'm playing at, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to read, it's all washed out. So let's see, let's see, let's see. We are at the cache. Oh, and it probably wants us to head south. And then east, and not first east, and then through that gap. Fair enough. And let's splash around the water some more. game just locked up there for a second only the music kept going maybe you know it's the music that's bothering everything so you know if it would like to stop anytime soon I'd be very appreciative oh man we walked in exactly the wrong direction well this is embarrassing So we want to go south from the cache. So south is this way. Okay, I think we're in business now. Oh, that's a nice tree. Whoa, is that the big one, the big fire? That is a big, big column of smoke. A, a, a ski? Okay. That's strange. There's a big tree. There's the big tree that we drew on the map. Why is there a ski? Rossignol. But this is definitely... Well, it should be Rossignol, even though that doesn't look like an R. Now, why is there a ski here? In August, in, in August, July, what time is it? What uh, month is it? Whoa, is that? No. That's a tree. That is not a lookout. Question is, why is there a ski out here? And, uh, well, this doesn't exactly... Even, like, if it snows here in the winter, and I'm not sure if it does, it doesn't exactly look like the kind of, um... Uh, the kind of terrain that lends itself to skiing, at least not the close proximity. Maybe those mountains over there, but... Huh. That is all just getting weirder and weirder. We're heading the right direction this time, right? Yes, we are. Strange that he wouldn't want to talk to Delilah about that ski. I mean, it does seem like something strange to find around. What is that? A jet ski? Not a, a jet ski. A what are those called? 
Isn't it? Aren't jet skis the kind that you stand up on while these are the kind that you ride? Like a motorbike? I don't know. Wrecked snow- oh, snowmobile! Yeah, I was thinking watercraft. <laughs> Stripped engine. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Certainly not in the winter. Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Yeah, anywhere besides here. So, snowmobiles and a ski. Well, we're no closer to unraveling the mystery of what's actually going on and who knocked us out and whatever happened. But, um, well, I think I'm going to end this video here. So for now, I'll thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.